Hi, and welcome to Why Australia. My name is Lisa Rossmeisel. I am owner of Boomerang Escapes and certified Aussie travel specialist with Australia Tourism. I come here each Sunday afternoon at three o'clock to share with you all the wonderful things about uh, Australia and why there is a destination nothing like her. Uh, today, before we get started, one of our features that we do on the Why Australia Sunday show is to share our Aussie lingo. Um, they have some fun lingo and also you can find this in the weekly newsletter. Today's word is Yowie. Yowie is a mythical Aboriginal beast. Um, he pops up in various forms of Australian folklore. Um, a Yowie can also have different names depending on the region of Australia, but the Yowie would be akin uh, to our Sasquatch, our Bigfoot of uh, the Western states. So that's today's lingo lesson is Yowie. Um, and what I wanted to share with you, um, obviously, if you've been following closely, you know that this past week I was in New York City meeting with uh, Australia Tourism. Uh, they came into town to give us the latest updates on the bushfire um, situation, which uh, I'm happy to report the fires are out. I'm also happy to debunk the myth that Australia as a whole was on fire. Uh, that is not the case. It was very, very limited regions of Australia and also regions that the average U.S. traveler would never encounter upon a visit. So other than Kangaroo Island, which was one of the hardest hit areas, which is a very high traffic area for the um, the traveler to visit upon, um, in general, you would have not come in contact with the areas that were burning. Um, but right now, as always, what they need is you to travel down into destination. And one of the things that I have been being asked is how can I travel to Australia and have an, uh, my own personal hands-on impact to the recovery of these fires. So after meeting um, not only with Australia Tourism, but heads of uh, each tourist board for all the states and territories there behind me, uh, there was a representative for each state and territory this week um, at the meeting. I also got to meet with my good friend, Craig Wickman. Uh, Craig Wickman actually lives on Kangaroo Island and is the owner of Exceptional Kangaroo Island Tours and is the chairman of Australian Wildlife Journeys. And getting to speak with him, he um, introduced me and told me about a new product that is there available for you, the traveler, to really have an impact and uh, do some things. It's through the Australian Wildlife Journeys. So that's what we're going to be talking about today and showcasing is uh, three new products that they have and actually the products could be combined into one longer tour or you can incorporate it um, within the region that you're visiting uh, with additional tours as well. As the name would suggest, Australian Wildlife Journeys is targeted to giving you the traveler those amazing um, animal experiences with one of a kind, unique animals that are only found here in Australia. Uh, so it can be from a wide range of whale watching, photography, you name it, you can experience it with the Australian Wildlife Journeys. But like I said, they have come up with um, a way for you to assist with the land rehabilitation and activities uh, to refuge the bushfires affected um, many uh, and, you know, help with the native species that were impacted by these fires this year. Um, fires are not unusual in Australia. This was just an unusual season uh, with the combination of high, high summer temperatures along with some winds that made fires move at a higher rate or higher speed than they typically would, we've been told. But the three regions that are now offering something, they are going to be offering this from July 1st, 2020 to August 31st, 2020. But Craig did tell me uh, based on uh, how they fill up and the interest level, additional dates could be added. But right now, run, running from July of this year through August of this year, which we have plenty of time to plan and there are spaces available that... Um, Exceptional Kangaroo Island and uh, on South Australia, along with uh, Echidna Walkabout Tours in the Yu Yangs of Victoria, Australia, and FNQ Nature Tours up in um, 
far north Queensland. The three of these companies have come up with hands-on experiences for you to enjoy wildlife encounters while also giving back and helping um, with the recovery from the fires. So for example, the koala recovery experience would take place with echidna walkabout tours, which is like I said, located here um, in Victoria, which um, is the southern southeast state of Australia. Um, you will be participating in planting trees for the koalas. The koalas um, have a limited amount of gum trees um, that they like of the eucalyptus and you'll be planting these uh, along um, fence lines and stuff and to establish a better habitat for the koala but also to provide more habitat. So the areas that were burned um, we're up in this re region um, and of Melbourne, or not Melbourne, of, um, and so the koalas will be able to travel to, to this region with the new trees. Um, there is also, if you, if you want to be a donor, and this is somebody that I support, is one of their wildlife, um, wild koalas, I should say, wild koalas named Clancy. Um, they have all their koalas that they go out on the tours do have names, but there is the Koala Clancy Foundation also as, as part, if you were looking to um, do a donation, and I can put you in touch with that as well. Um, they say be sure to com combine a tree planting experiences with something like like the Great Ocean Road or a Mungo Outback Journey um, or the koalas and the kangaroo and wild um, journey. So there's lots we can do. We can keep you pretty much centered to this lower southeast region um, and just work on this. Or like I said, once I mentioned all three, you could actually visit all three regions. Um, and each of these tours is um, one to three days, the ones that are um, impacting and recovering the environment. So that's one. Um, like I said, again, um, the, the dates right now uh, are from um, July, uh, from, um, sorry, yes, July 1st to August 31st. So there's four different tours running now that they have available dates for for this koala encounter. Uh, the second company that we mentioned was on Kangaroo Island uh, with Exceptional Kangaroo. This is where you'll be working with the regeneration of the Kangaroo's Island habitat and the endangered kangaroo island dunart um, and a glossy black cockatoo. Uh, with the partnership here, they are partnered with Land for Wildlife Kangaroo Island um, and these conservation action days will remove key threats um, to the plants and animals across the private land holdings, giving um, the threatened species more opportunity to recover. Um, there are over 280 fauna species and over 900 species of plants alone on kangaroo island. Um, they have the new one that I mentioned. We showcased kangaroo, exceptional kangaroo island tours um, a week or so ago here on the Y Australia, and they have their new um, East End Explorer because even though Kangaroo Island, only, not all of it was on fire, um, there's more than 50% of the island that is available for touring, and they've made some small modifications to some of the most popular tours that were in existence um, before the fire. And like I said, they're sending me pictures every day, and the vegetation is coming back, the animals are coming back, there is animals that are coming out of the fire zone. So all is looking good. Um, and South Australia, you're going to be over here. If you can see this, um, where my finger is here, this is actually where Kangaroo Island is. This land region up here is South Australia. So you could easily, like we just mentioned that Great Ocean Road, you could do your experience with echidna walkabout tours here in the Yu Yangs, plant your trees, actually use the Great Ocean Road to go over to South Australia and then either take the ferry or plane to Kangaroo Island and do the kangaroo experience um, helping their habitat. And then the last company that we mentioned was the FNQ Nature Tours, which are up way up here um, in Cairns, up in the far north of Queensland. And they will be doing um, a mission of repellitation that's uh, vastly important, um, saving the spotted tail quoll. Um, he, he's the oldest um, in the rainforest. So you will be working um, with things like that. Uh, you will join researchers and other team members as they check camera traps, um, document food sources, locations, and behaviors all for the saving of this spotted tailed quoll. So again, you could combine something like this 
A lot of people love to go to Queensland. Um, it's one of the favorite spots, of course, because it's tropical. So you could go have your impact on the qual up here, still go do your Great Barrier Reef snorkeling, diving experience, things like that. Or like I said, we can go one, two, three, or however we situate it based on the dates um, available for the tours. So you could do all three, you can do a regional thing, or you can still get some of those other highlights and just add that key component into your vacation experience that is going to have a direct impact on the recovery. Um, for more information as far as dates and pricing on these tours, not everything is locked in place. This is brand new. And like I said, they will add things or add dates as uh, interest peaks. So if you want to have more information, please feel free to comment below um, the video here or email me directly at lisa at boomerangescapes.com. Just mention that you're interested in the Australian wildlife journeys. Again, I also, like I know I mentioned the Koala Clancy Foundation. Um, I do have other links available that I can share with you if you just want to be a donor of funds to the region. Um, and depending on what it is you want to support, I'd be happy to send you some links. So again, please reach out if you have any questions, concerns. Um, everything is traveling. I've got travelers leaving shortly. Um, for Australia here in the next month or so and we are planning a way uh, for others as well so if you'd like to get on board especially for any of these uh, summer tours our summer it'll be winter down there if you want to get on board with helping out Australian wildlife journeys please contact me um, now would be the time to plan uh, we are only a few short months out summer will be here before we know it so take care enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I will see you next week this is Lisa Ross Meisel, owner of Boomerang Escapes and your certified Aussie travel specialist.